M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Okay, so M17 board, we've added the OLED screen, we've gone into settings and just added our core sign, just by pressing, let's have a look now, the menu button here, then you go enter, there is an enter button and an escape button, and then we went down, down one, enter, and look, call sign, okay, and then we've got the escape button. So we've put our call sign in, back to the normal screen. This is a 1.3 OLED, by the way. Uh, you can see how it's configured. You, you can see the pin order there. Okay, standard sort of OLED thing. USB power going here, you don't need to use the DC in. So USB-C. The cable which we've made, I've made a separate video of that but we've used an, uh, one of these type of adapters. You can see the green adapter there that allows us to, you know, just screw them in rather than having to solder. On the back of the, this is the Yaesu FT500. I've typed in this frequency on this screen, which is my, and now I'm not sure whether to be in analog or digital mode, so I would try both, but 413550, which is what I've set my hotspot at, this hotspot here is, is running W0CHP. Um, nice reverse screen there, but basically it's a Pi Star running W0CHP, which allows you to select M17. I'll show you the dashboard in a minute. I'll show you the cable goes from here, that 232, which is nine pins, and the cable at the back of this radio is 10 pin. I was wondering how do you do it with a six pin, because upstairs I've got a six pin radio. AC radio, the cable, the black cable that we used, which is going from the back of the 500 uh, to here, uh, came open-ended and it's the CT167. So that's pretty much all the bits you need. And the microphone is just a cheap twin microphone here, twin pin, like a Kenwood style, that's going into these plugs that were already on the board. It seems to have some sort of volume here. Now, do we need to, this is the other thing, do I need to add a speaker? Or, I and mean, that's a speaker microphone, so hopefully that's, that will answer that. I've turned it up about three quarters of the way. I'll show you the back of the radio, and then I'll show you the dashboard. So on the back, you've got the 10-pin cable there. It's definitely a 10-pin cable there. Remember, when you do decide the connectors, the diagram that we get from uh, M17 is looking from behind rather than looking from the front when you're numbering the pins. Droid Star is connected to M17, M17 as well. I know that works, I've been testing that. The dashboard here by chip uh, W0CHP, just in configuration, you can select M17. Scrolling down, call sign, I've put in that frequency of this hotspot and what's on the Yesu radio. Scrolling down, M17 is across. And then we selected, here we selected H for hotspot, M17, M17C. Okay, back to the, the dashboard on that. So I don't really know what else to do. The idea is that we're gonna TX, we've got an antenna in the 500. We're gonna TX here and just see what happens, to be honest. If it works, it will activate the hotspot and we will also show up on Droid Star and the dashboard. So. Let's just give a quick call out and see if we can do anything. So Mike Zero Fox X-Ray Bravo, M0 FXB, Mike Zero Fox X-Ray Bravo. So nothing at the moment. Well, it's possible that it's the wrong kind of mic. It is a Bofong, but it's the, the Kenwood type pins. So if I just TX on the on the hot on the droid star watch. One, two, three, test, test, test. You can see, you could see that the it does the hotspot's doing its thing. The radio was receiving the you know the RF from the hotspot, and I'm showing up on the on the dashboard there. So the thing I've not got right so far is how to make this board actually TX. I've got the pins in. I don't really know what to do. So we'll keep trying. I've unplugged the the pins from the. The microphone from the board. I've got some uh, lights here that tell you what you're up to. So let's zoom in on them. 
you can see PTT sync and then error okay I just realized that the pins weren't pushed in all the way on the microphone so let's try that yeah we got a PTT come up then on the actual device M0FXB test 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 so at least that's coming up on the device PTT now so that was analog mode let's try again M0FXB test test we know if it works because if it did we'd see the signal coming from the hotspot and we'd see it on on Droid Star as well okay well I'll post this video I know I'm close I'm going to go on discord and ask them